The Guardians have grown stronger among the light. The destruction of the Black Garden's heart was impressive. And to challenge a Hive Prince, brave indeed. But now our Queen welcomes them here to fight alongside the Awoken? Guardians could be quite useful in dealing with these traitorous fallen wolves. Prepare the feed across all open channels. Attention, Guardians. This is Petra Venge of the Awoken Royal Guard. Multiple bounties have been issued on key fallen targets. The Reef is now open to you. Holy shit, how cool was that opening cutscene? What the fuck is going on, guys? My name is Jay, we're the after kill, and the House of Wolves has gone live across all platforms on Destiny. And as you can see, I'm here inside of the Queen's Reef, the Queen for sure. And, you know, as, as an Awoken, I feel strangely familiar here. Things look oddly like I'm at home. <laughs> so, we're here inside of the Queef, which is the new social space of Destiny. It's basically just another tower outside of Earth that you can go to that has just a few different vendors here that you can stop by and check out. And I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and check this out together. I'm so excited. So, let's go over here to our right. We have uh, Senta5530, who obviously doesn't get her own little postmaster booth uh she, she gets or he i'm sorry i'm sorry zenta sounded like a girl's name i'm, I'm not here to judge i'm just saying <laughs> all right so uh obviously he is some type of refugee of the exos because he doesn't have a hut at all he's just got like a makeshift booth and he's got some of the shit just hanging on some laundry back there and what what could possibly be radioactive materials to the what was that? What's that? Oh, I got my vault here. Well, that's kind of sweet. That's convenient. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see if there's anything different about this postman. Anything different? Nope. The, this is the same postman. I got a bunch of blues. I got my best defiant, my prudence, and this could possibly be one of them uh brand new exotic sidearms. Possibly, maybe? We don't know. Well, uh, we we're going to be doing want? some uh, massive openings of packs. And, uh, people are going to be like, oh my god, Mac, don't you become that type of Destiny YouTuber. <laughs> I know some people out there really hate, like, package openings and shit, but I got a couple things edged out right here. I'm going to finish working on my new monarchy in just a few minutes, but uh, I got my Vanguard, Future War Cult, Dead Orbit on my other character, new monarchy on my other character. This will be here, plus a bunch of Engram. So we will be doing this. I know some people are like, oh my god, but I started the fucking Engram openings, motherfucker. I brought that shit from Borderlands Live Looting. And uh, once they changed over the whole way the Engrams worked from, uh, you know, where purples can't be blues and the whole gambling aspect was gone, uh, I just kind of seemed like, oh, look, now I'm just opening a bunch of blue Engrams. I'm going to stop doing that. <laughs> no, no, no shade or hate towards anybody that does open Engrams and shit. It's just that I, I feel like that there's better ways to... Uh, go about my business on YouTube. So, uh, this looks like the same bounty bots. He, he just offers the same bounties, because as you can see, I already have them purchased. I purchased these in the other towers, so it looks like that this is just another rehash of, uh, you know, the tower, so you can access everything all in one space. Uh, that's, that's kind of that's kind of disappointing to me. I was hoping that this was going to be an all-new bounty, so I could have ten bounties a day. And help level some of this shit up just a little bit faster, but Bungie was like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> so, uh, what do we got down there? We got a bunch of nothing over there. Uh, Trials of Osiris, dude. Uh, that looks like Varix over there. So, let, let, let's just, you know, let's make the rounds. Let's do the rounds. Let's go over here. Hello, Petra. 
See, I am an Awoken. I show the Awoken the respect to the... What? Hey! Hey! That's not respectful, Warlock. Hey, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and see what Petra Avenge has Guardians, for us. Uh, new quest, you welcome to the Reef. Get acquainted with your allies. Uh, Take a walk around. Uh, You'll find some interesting oh, alright, the, the quest is to walk around. So, let's go You've reached a number of active quests. Motherfucker Bungie! I swear to God! Look, that says it's a quest! Why don't you put the quests over here, please? I, I, I have to waste my bounty slots to you. Oh my god. No! No, we're, we're not gonna walk around. Let, let's, let's, the queen's favorite. Let's see what this was all about. Let's open that up. Just some reputation. Woo! <laughs> and, uh, what's the Back queen's the blessing? Is that, a any type of buff? No, it's just extra favor, just just reputation. Is that that all you're giving me, Petra? That's it. Well, at least at least we get to check out the series Galia. This this right here, if you go to the uh, Awoken cutscene when you first play the game and you're going to the reef, these are the ships that fucking they escort you into the reef when the queen's like. Who the fuck's that, my dog? And these motherfuckers are making sure that you ain't you ain't playing around with no monkey business. <laughs> Let's go ahead and dismiss that. See what else she's got. Uh, she's got a couple other bounties up in here. Uh, wanted wolf scavengers from the halls of wisdom. Hunt the hallowed raiders in the halls, and then hunt the wanted queen breaker vandals. In the cinders on Venus. So, there's gonna be some more things coming along the way. Nice, nice. Possibly these might take place like, uh, Eris's missions where the, you get extra missions that show up throughout the, uh, I guess, what do they call it? The director, the curator of, uh, where you choose your missions, the destination screen. Uh, we also have everything that she has out in the, uh, old tower, but we also have some shaders. Can we see what these look like? Imogen's fire. That is kind of dookie looking. And then we got Palace Victorious. So once again, kind of dookie looking. <laughs> Why do hunters have to have the worst fucking shaders ever, man? Like, all the titans and the warlocks are so colorful. And the titans are just like, look, look at this. Bop, 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 bop. Well, give me the old Price is Right losing horde. So, Petra... Your package didn't give me what I want, so, uh, Good get the fuck out, out of here. There. Now I can see why you have an eye patch, you know? Welcome you're you're over there offering the packages, and people are like, you, you gave me a package that has to nothing? To well, here, I'm gonna stick my package in your eye. And she got skull fucked. <laughs> so let's go ahead and keep on moving on, see what, uh, Varix the Loyal's got over here. You, you see how he has his own little pod here, right? And, I saw over here when we were just, when we first came in, there's a pod over there. It looks like there's a little bit of room for expansion here in the reef. And I like that, because that's what Bungie's been doing ever since this game started, is expanding the universe. Even though they didn't add the darkness on the goddamn fucking Earth yesterday. I'm sorry, guys, I dropped the ball. And I really looked up, and I've never seen that darkness on there. And I was like, oh, look. That must be new at House of Wolves. I asked the people in my game. They said no. I asked some other people on Skype, and they said they've never seen it either. So I was like, oh, shit. That must be new. So let's go ahead and see what Hawaiian Randall the Vandal over here has got for us. He's got uh, some Kel Hunters Rally. These are some gauntlets. As you can see, all the skill trees are gone because we no longer need to level them up. We just have to ascend shit these days. But these are actually... Yeah, 42 light. These are level 34 uh, gauntlets. Ether Claw. Chance to generate orbs when kill and fall with melee attacks. Kind of similar to what the uh, Curtis End Gear does. Fastball and special weapons loader. Yeah, that might actually be really good on a Vestian Dynasty, though. Because that, that thing already has a pretty nasty reload. So let's go ahead and see what else we got. We got Wolf Slayer's Claw. As you can see, it's an auto rifle with actually... Some pretty decent impact. Wow, that, that thing actually looks really cool looking. <laughs> Let's see what it's got. It's got crowd control, 
Shank burned. This weapon deals moderate bonus damage to Shanks. I fucking hate Shanks, so that's actually pretty cool. Uh, Flared Magwell, Field Scout, and perfect balance. Not a bad weapon looking. It's got some decent impact. It's got a decent rate of fire. Fucking, I, I wouldn't mind giving this a good old uh, college try. <laughs> then we got Judgment's Chance, which you can purchase, and uh, you, you get a chance at random shit from Randall the Vandal here, so... That's pretty decent. Then we got King's Cloak, which is of which world? All of them. And just looks like every other Crucible cloak ever stitched together, kind of like the Vanguards, too. Kind of kind of tired of all this shit looking the same, man. Like, I'm, I'm a real big fan of this game, Bungie, but <laughs> you just gave us three palette swaps. Yeah. <laughs> so, Devil's Dew Breaker, we got a, a new ship, which kind of looks like a penis. And then we got another palette swapped penis. Palette swapped penis. Oh, God damn it. Bungie! Come on! Like, let, let me tell you something, man. I used to sit around all day in school and draw ships, and none of them were palette swaps of each other. You, you can't... You, come on! How hard is it to make a different looking fucking ship? I don't, I don't understand that. <laughs> so freaking, come on, god damn it. Then we got House of Judgment, rank 3. We got a bunch of shaders. Let's take a look at the King's Wind. Looks like poop. <laughs> All these are gonna, there's gonna be palace swaps of each other. Watch. Everything's gonna be brown except for my chest. What? Oh, that's, that's, that's an opposite palace swap. But, god damn, these shaders are poop too. What the fuck, Bungie? Can we get some color? You take what you want. I, I want, I want, look at that. I want color like this guy. You're, even you got color. Go away! <laughs> then we got a new Cryptarch who is very, very creepy looking. It just. Yeah. Let's just. Uh... Move it along! <laughs> Move it along! Who do we got over here? Stop the wolf pack, outsider. This looks like where the queen's gonna be. Alright, queen's in there. We can't get to the queen, and then we got, yo, what up, my brother from another mother, brother Vance. It's... What's going on, Wiz Cryptarcha? All right, so this is a Trials of Osiris guy. You go ahead and uh, buy a Trials Passage here, and uh, it's like kind of like a scorecard. If you lose too much, you, you, you got to buy a new one. But if you have enough wins on there, a couple wins will get you some of this or a higher tier shit. So let's go ahead and check out the vest. Of the exile. Let's see what we got here. We got a loading screen. Eh, it's, it's kind of alright. I mean, I guess it's it's Egyptian themed, but honestly, I only want the helmets. The helmets look pretty fucking awesome, but I don't really care for. I mean, it, it's a different. It's a different look, at least. It's got that woven basket papyrus look. I kind of like that. The whole chest piece is looking pretty alright. But, uh, man, I was hoping for a helmet. <laughs> I know you're not going to get that helmet right away. You probably won't even get the helmet ever. You, you got to get that randomly, I bet you. Probably got to get that randomly. We got the silver tier, six wins. And then we got the summoner. This is an auto rifle, which this weapon gains better target acquisition. Hammer forged, flared magwell, perfect balance, third eye. Honestly... After seeing the other one, I'd rather have the Fallen Shank one. The one that does extra damage to the Fallen Shanks. That's a little bit more helpful in PvE. But as you can see, it's already uh, leveled all the way up to 365. Doesn't need to be ascended. So, uh, you know, the gear here out in the, the reef is a little bit higher quality than what you would find laying around everywhere. Then we got Favor of Osiris. You've been granted favor. You will start the trials with a win already. So this is what you could use your passage coins on. Those of you guys that have been getting them in the Crucible. Uh, you've been granted mercy. Uh, you can erase a loss 
from your uh, trials passages with uh, three passage coins. So those of you guys that play a lot of PvP and Crucible, you'll be able to uh, have a little bit of an easier time inside of the uh, trials of Osiris. If it's time. I, I really like this guy's area, though. That looks really fucking awesome. They did a good job on that. So thank you very much, Mr. Brother Vance. We're going to be moving on in the reef, checking out to see if there's anything else over here. It looks like, uh, looks like we have gone through the queef. And I, I am moist. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool, though. They got some pretty cool areas here. They got some cool vendors. And I, I just want to say I, I really hope that Bungie picks up the ball. And, you know, can, can we get some better shaders and some better looking ships and shit that's not like, all palette swapped because I, I I know I I don't want to be a dick I, I haven't even gotten into the DLC Why? yet but looking at this Shh. look Call me here. this is all palette swaps all of it Everett's last thing like if you take off everything out from underneath here then I, there's only like three new things inside this guy's vendor that's boom oh Boo! I'm gonna stick my finger in your ear. Ready? Boo! Boo! <laughs> but I, I still, I still feel like this is gonna be a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool DLC. I'm hype. That fucking opening cinematic, absolutely amazing. So, uh, my name is Jay. More than after kill. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. It's time to, uh, get on with the going on and turn in my bounties and do some missions because that fucking make yourself show up over here and I fucking show up with your goddamn bounties. Bungie! You know, I, I think I'm going to make a separate video on that. I'm just going to gonna ask Bungie, I'm like, dude, what the fuck, man? What is this area for over here? Like, we're going to do that later today. That, that's a video you guys can expect to see. So, if, you, if you're if you the type of guy that's wondering why the fuck you can't use that fucking mission area for these Queen's bounties and the wrath and the missions and all that, you know what? Look forward to that video because I'm going to tag Bungie in that. And we're going we're gonna to get their fucking attention on this shit for reals. For real, for real. So, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? Thanks for watching. And I'm going to see you guys. Later. When I enter a car,